and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr last season was named the next head coach of the U.S. men's basketball team alongside Eric Spolstra and Monty Williams. Kerr had served as an assistant under Greg Popovich, who led the team since 2015. Now the baton has been passed. And the sense is the team is in good hands. All right, good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And a look at the stats for Clay Thompson. And he's taken a small step back offensively. He really hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier on. He's lacking the intensity he had. He needs a new mindset and stop being passive and play with more aggressiveness. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Horford and Williams together in the front court. And it's smart in at the point guard position. And for Golden State. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. So Golden State will get the first possession. Thompson passes to Green. To the paint. Here's Curry. Boston with a rebound. They're coming off a loss against Miami. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. Now here's Williams. Four on the clock. Brown can't hit. 
You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Thompson. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. About a minute played here so far in the first. Thompson against Smart. To the inside. Shoots over Thompson. Tries again. And the layup good by Smart. Well, Marcus Smart has a knack for understanding where missed shots are going to come off. And he's got the vertical to get on the glass. Nice. The three from Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Right side Brown from outside the arc. That shot is off. The Warriors go the other way with it. Thompson gets a good look. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. I think you pay the consequences if you leave Draymond Green's teammates open. He has a knack for getting the basketball where it needs to be. Pass to Brown. Let's it go from deep. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Smart finds Horford. Outside, Brown. the wing Tatum hounded by Wiggins and out of bounds the Warriors will take it and after winning MVP honors in 2015 Steph Curry was even better in 2016 taking home another MVP award going back to back the Warriors have gone one of five to start things off it's stolen by smart fast break here come the Celtics here's Tatum and he buries his first look. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Curry from deep three-point land. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. And he's going for the lob. Green with the ball. Picked up by Tatum. And here's Thompson for three. Williams grabs the board. The Celtics with the lead. Smart outside. And here's Brown for three. And he can't get that one. And Golden State will come the other way. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. The Celtics have gone only three for nine from the floor. Williams misses. And the Warriors shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. The three from Curry. Boston with a rebound. Boy, at some point you've got to realize there might be a better option standing next to you. This guy has not made one basket in this period. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find Boston something foul. easy so he Robert can see Williams. the ball go through the net. And we think foul. back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter the in league oh, history. Oh, B.A. 37 Thompson. points from him in one Taking quarter, two. setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the Take field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. The first free throw is good, and obviously it's a long season. But Doris, you feel like reducing the amount of games would be a good thing? I think no matter what, if you're talking about reducing the schedule, Brian, you're facing an uphill battle. The reason is easy. It would be a reduction in revenue. And who is the person willing to do that? I just think it's not something that's realistic. Now here's Brogdon. 
And the bucket is good. Well, that's the attitude Malcolm Brogdon hopes to bring every night. You can't be passive. He is going to attack on the interior. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. For three, DiVincenzo, and the Warriors miss again. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Out to the right wing. Pass to Hauser. Williams against Kaminga. Outside for Brogdon. White on the wing. Clock at six. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors trailing. Here's Poole. And he banks in the layup. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Pass to Muscala. Over Green. Muscala, no good. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Inside. And it's hammered home by Green. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. And for the Celtics, they're shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Muscala against Green. White, the pass to Muscala. Back to White. Here's Hauser, defended by Thompson. Pass to Muscala. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Basketball. Coming out of the floor for your Warriors, Andre Iguodala. And here's Poole. Trying to make up for his poor performance in that loss to the Lakers. Beyond the arc. No luck on that one. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Warriors on top, up two. After this break, we'll be back with the... And give it up for your Warriors, you 15. And yeah, close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Tatum with it. On the court for the Celtics. Second quarter underway. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Derek White. And it's Williams in at the center position, filling out the middle. To the middle. Here's Tatum. And he gets the bucket. I love when Jason Tatum is aggressive to score the basketball. He does a tremendous job keeping his focus. But what has to excite you about Jason Tatum is how consistently he puts work in to perfecting his craft. His idol is Kobe Bryant. He is a guy that wants to continue and will work to get better. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. And that one misses. Doris Tatum has already accomplished so much early on in his career. Yeah, but you get the sense this guy is nowhere near finished. Jason Tatum is a guy who wants to be seen as an all-time great when his career is said and done. He is someone you can count on to give you everything he's got. Here's Pritchard. They get the rebound. Here's White. Iguodala with some nice D. The Warriors leading. Wiggins finds Green. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Green's got his first points of the game. Well, really nice delivery from Andrew Wiggins. We know he's a gifted scorer, but that will really smooth out his game. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the Warriors shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got four rebounds now. White on the wing. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Here's Williams. Sinks that one from the post. You like how Derek White scans the floor, always aware of where the opportunities are. Nicely done. 
And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Outside Tatum, five to shoot. To the right side. Here's Pritchard. The shot off that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Iguodala against Williams. Poole, the pass to Curry. That won't go either for Curry. Boy, he can't buy a bucket. Shut out completely so far, and yet they're still ahead. Horford outside. Pass to Pritchard. Down low. Here's White. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. But they resisted. Awesome. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. And something you'd never like to see, but guys, he definitely looks hurt. And I'll tell you, that's the very last thing you want to see. Ugh. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. And it's Clay Thompson in for Poole. Brogdon's checked in for Boston. Boston trailing. Pass to Williams. Kick out to Brown. Back to Williams. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. The three from Curry sends it home from three-point land. Curry's got his first three points of the game. Steph Curry's ability to shoot the basketball off the dribble may be as special as we've ever seen in the history of the league. Back to Tatum. For three. Offensive rebound. Celtics. Over Green. No good with the elbow jumper. Golden State has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. That's good from Curry on the assist by Wiggins. And now it's a six-point Warrior lead. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Wiggins. Inside and stolen by Williams. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Here's Horford. Called in by Curry. Curry's got his fourth rebound in this one. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. And some changes here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Green. Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's DiVincenzo in for Stephen Curry. Muscala, he's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Jason Tatum. Basket's good. And the Warriors lead by eight. 
After a cold first quarter, they brought up their field goal percentage, trying to build out this lead now. The drive by Brogdon. Deflected! And he gets it back. That one no good. Looney with some nice D. And the Warriors with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. Blocking foul called on Dante DiVincenzo. First personal foul. Second team foul. There's 48 seconds left in the second quarter. The whistle for the blocking foul. He'll head to the line. I think when people think of Malcolm Brogdon, the first word that comes to mind is consistency. This guy takes quality shots. He's already produced a 50, 40, 90 season back in 2019. Williams finds Brogdon. Here's Hauser. Shoots over Kaminga. Thompson with the block. Blake Thompson is elite on the defensive end. He's got length, smarts, quickness, you name it. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. And <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. We finished off one half of play. Warriors ahead. They're up by eight. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And put your hands together and get loud for the Jamawaki. everybody. We'll break down the action shortly, but first a glance at how the Eastern Conference standings are stacking up as the season winds down. You look at the Celtics, they've been phenomenal. And now coming back to this game, a strong first. Thanks for tuning in. Now we And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. One of the stories here, Clay Thompson. Man, is he getting it done today. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Well, Norris, Commissioner Silver has acknowledged that the style of play in today's game may have an added impact on players' bodies. How so, you think? I think, Brian, it's not only style of play. It's the nature of an NBA schedule. You're talking 82 games over the course of several months strung together. It's going to challenge anybody physically and mentally. The wonderful part of today's science is we can have a greater understanding of that and when to rest and when to play. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And that's the group for Steve Kerr as we begin the second half. And Williams punches it home. Doesn't believe in soft finishes. The big fella's all about power. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry, over Smart. Curry's shot is off. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. 
Smart outside. Outside Tatum from deep three-point range. And the Celtics another three. This guy's so effective from downtown. Jason Tatum knows he has the green light. He's so comfortable from range. The three from Thompson, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Thompson's got 11 points. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks. Well, Jason Tatum added muscle to his frame and layers to his game, but still not satisfying. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level from being one of the top 10 to 15 players to a top five player. I got to make everybody else around me better. Brian, still work to do. And plenty of runway to do it, Allie. Thanks. Looney. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good for Boston. They've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. Golden State has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And here's Curry for three. Here's Looney. Rebounded by the Celtics. Williams has got eight rebounds in the game. Orford passes to Williams. Over Looney. And that one's long. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. Iguodala's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Thompson. Williams is checked in for Boston. Poole finds Wiggins. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Wiggins with a steal. And stolen by Williams. Here's Horford. Yep, that one's good. Horford's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, boy, I'll tell you, sprinting the floor, a dangerous threat when he's in space. Al Horford makes it look easy. And there's the call on Al Horford. That's his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga, he's checked in for Draymond Green. And Peyton is subbed in for Andrew Wiggins. A big group substitution here for Boston. Muscala, he's checked in for Horford. Hauser comes in for Jason Tatum. Brogdon's checked in for Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Muscala, no good. The Warriors shooting only 30% in the third quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. And some changes here for the Warriors. Green comes in for Iguodala. And it's DiVincenzo in for Stephen Curry. They get it back. Here's Poole. An easy two on the layup. Poole's got six. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort. Love the energy. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. The Warriors shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Pass to Green. Takes a three. Drills it from deep. And it's an 11-point Warrior lead. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Williams passes to Muscala. And that one good. Muscala. Now DiVincenzo, checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Poole with the ball. Three-pointer. He can't get it to go. The Celtics have gone five of 11 in this third quarter. Pass to Hauser. Back to Brogdon. He shoots over DiVincenzo. And it's Brogdon missing. Golden State has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Now Kaminga. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Back to Pritchard. Over Poole. Got a hand on it. Outside, DiVincenzo. Sinks it from distance. He's got five. 
And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Kuminga, the pass to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Boston, no good that time either. Golden State has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Here's Peyton. And the Warriors tack on two more. There's 10 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Williams passes to Brogdon. Two points. Malcolm that one Brogdon. goes. Wow, this plenty of ways for Malcolm Brogdon to do damage on the offensive end. Painted area, no problem. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with an impressive 16 point. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. All right, great pace. Great pace. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Taking a look at the Celtics. Orford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. And it's Smart in at the point guard position. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Now into the lineup for your Warriors. Kevon Looney. Here's Curry. Banked it in off the glass. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Austin shooting poorly. Just 29% from the floor in this game. Smart outside. It's Brown on the wing. Here's Williams. Warriors with the rebound. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Count it. And the Warriors lead by 20. They have no answer defensively inside. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. Smart against Curry. Outside Tatum. Lock at four. Shoots over Wiggins. And it's Tatum missing. And the Warriors with possession here. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Well, great read by Stephen Curry right there. Just puts it on time and on target. Always wants to make his teammates feel good. Curry against Smart. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. When you watch him play, you can feel the effect that Marcus Smart has on a basketball game. Defensively, this guy is as good as any guard in the league, and he has multiple all-defensive selections to show for it. He does not get the second one. The Defensive Player of the Year in 2022, Doris Marcus Smart. His defense sets the tone for this team. It does, B.A., there's no doubt about it. They feed off both his energy and his attitude. There are so many little things that Marcus Smart does that can get into the head of opposing ball handlers. He pressures the basketball. He'll get strip steals. He can also pinch down in the post and give some assistance to a big man. The effect on winning is real. Second team foul. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. They've got to tighten up the ball control. That pass was just too easy to defend. And it's Tatum missing. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Wiggins with it, guarded now by Williams. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Here's Horford. And that one drops for him. To me, that play is about focus from Al Horford. Just extraordinary body control on the finish. Nice. Thompson passes to Green. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul of the game. Third team foul. A little over.
over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's foul number two for him. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Tatum with a steal. Counted. Now 5 of 11 for the game. He's a new man this half, playing with much better intensity and getting results. Golden State calls timeout. Hey, guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He said to his players, you may want to get comfortable with this lead, but we can't afford that. That's when we get into trouble. Just keep executing the game plan and trust in one another. Thanks for that, Allie. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum, his advancement at the defensive end, Greg. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time. Got to get up court. Basketball. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Due to the bonus, he will head to the line for two. Bad foul. That's not who you want to send to the line. Well, Stephen Curry is wildly popular as an NBA player, and I think there's a few things. Number one, he's a dynamic scorer, fun to watch, and he plays with an infectious joy for the game. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Smart, and it's Tatum missing. Well, you gotta miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. The Warriors have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Curry passes to Wiggins. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. He misses the free throw. Well, getting to the line at will nowadays. Wiggins wanting to improve his free throw percentage. And he's good on the second. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality even with the game in total control. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Pass to Wiggins. Curry against Brockton. And there's Curry on the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists in the game. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Warriors. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And looking at their record now, tonight's win gives them 45 on the year. They were well prepared coming in and showed a real competitive streak. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Stephen Curry. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Pass to Green. Iguodala outside. Now Kaminga. To the inside. Green. 
And it's hammered home by Green. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. And, man, this really doesn't look good. Just the way it happened. Boy, it's got to be so frustrating for him. As hard as he has worked doing everything he can to help his team, just heartbreaking. Griffin, he's checked in for Boston. Williams misses. Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 14-3 run. Stolen! Here's Hauser. He's watched by Kuminga. Right wing. Pass to Williams. Fires from deep. On target from range. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Dayton finds Curry. Outside, Green. Off the mark there with a three. Outside, Williams. Off target with the three. Now here's Curry. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.